Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? Uh, my name is Simply Velka, and I'm just here to provide a quick little bonus reading for you, Aries. Felt drawn to do it. Uh, just felt randomly drawn to provide some bonus readings to some of the zodiac sign. But if you like your weekly zodiac sign done, Aries, I always do it, which I'll leave a link to over here, I believe, uh, for you to check out if you wanted to see your weekly zodiac sign, Aries, which are my longer videos. Uh, but when it comes to my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition and all that good stuff, Aries. I'm just going to be pulling some t uh, tarot cards today just to see what actual messages Spirit has to bring forward to you, Aries. So let's just get into this reading for you. And pulling, uh, I think we're going to be using these cards, actually, that came out uh, for you, Aries. So the cards that came out for you is the Death card, the Wheel, lots of Major Arcana, Sun, oh my god, Major Arcana, and then the Eight, Eight, the Sun, and the Ace of Cups. Now I know you saw the Ace of Cups in the inverted uh, Aries, but since this is all intuitive, I don't believe it is uh, reversed for you guys, because in this message right here, there's kind of this... It's almost like for some of you Aries, you guys are in this process of uh, closing out some heavy cycles. Uh, and because you're closing out some heavy cycles, well, I feel like the cause of you Aries of closing out heavy cycles is through you opening up your heart a lot more. I see this as the individual as you Aries uh, starting to practice a little bit more vulnerability uh, with the Ace of Cups. With this, this is usually letting me know of where it's like you're starting to entertain the potential or the idea Aries about something working out beautifully for you, or you're just entertaining the idea of like the, okay, but what if it actually happens, right? It feels like for a lot of you Aries right now, uh, you're starting to see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel, or you're starting to see the sun finally come up after a brutal storm almost um but it's almost feeling like an internal storm for you aries like where it's just like this own you're like going through this heavy like internal struggle almost aries that i'm feeling but you're on the right path because then we have the death card coming in for you right this is where you're closing out i believe in your weekly reading as well aries i was talking about closing out loose ends um for you this last week but yeah, with this death card, it does, I see this, again, more so not necessarily anything outwardly, Aries, and I could be wrong about it, right? You could correct me in the comments below and let me know what's going on for you in specific, Aries. But with this, I just can't help but feel like this is the ending of a phase where you're just closed off with something. Um, I'm going to continue on with the narrative, though, where it feels like you're finally putting an end um, to some type of internal struggle that you're ha or that you are having. Aries, and you're just now kind of almost just allowing yourself to uh, experience the good things um, and to kind of just, instead of uh, answering with new opportunity or answering your day when you wake up for the morning with anxiety, you're starting to answer the day uh, or the opportunity with, you know, just a little bit more optimistic thinking, which I celebrate you for, uh, Aries. That's really a good sign to be having for you. And then we have the wheel card coming in for you. This is where, you know, I would probably say for some of you, Aries, this is partially part of the reason why you started having this uh, Ace of Cups moment, this Ace of Cups experience for you, uh, Aries, is because of this wheel. Because I do feel like, and you probably definitely can feel it as well, Aries, where things started have started to... Uh, um, Shifting is, I guess, is only where I can think of right now, but it's like the wheel starting to turn in your favor. You probably have started dealing with a little less resistance in the uh, external world, which has helped almost heal part of your own internal struggle uh, areas. Maybe for some of you guys, you've been really in your head. Uh, let's use an example. Let's say that you're an artist of whatever type, a writer, um, painter, sculptor, what have you, right? And you've been putting out your projects for a long time now and haven't really gotten much of a um, commotion going on for it, not much attention. And so um, that probably got into your head a little bit, right? Probably had you almost questioning if it was even worth you putting 
stuff out there for the world to see if it was even worth you continually continuing to create art in the first place right since you felt as if you weren't being appreciated in this sense i kind of get this idea where the light's starting to come up right the sun card is your sun starting to come out the wheels of of the wheel of fortune or the wheel the, the starting to just turn in your favor now and maybe you're starting to get a little bit more traction um you're starting to make more sales you're starting just more you know we don't need to put a defining thing to it i just feel like things are just starting to feel lighter for you aries things are starting to work out uh easier for you now and you know you're just starting to experience a little bit more positivity rather than constantly waking up every uh, single day and uh, having to deal with some type of hurdle um, or hurdles you would um, even if they are with yourself so i really like to see this uh aries now i kind of want to just do some you know we we talk about like you going through that internal struggle and really coming out of it right let's look at let's see if we can get any detail on that side card right let's see what those blessings are starting to look like for you guys all right all right the card's just flying out aries <clears throat> so we have for you uh the clarifiers we have the six of swords Definitely, you guys are moving away from something for sure. Here is, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, with the Hermit card. So, interestingly enough, Aries, I know in your last week's, uh, your most recent weekly reading, uh, you were in this place of really being in your head um, about collaborative efforts, collaborative things when it came to people. Um, and all in that vein. And so in this sense, it's interesting how you're now going into this reclusive energy where you're almost, for some of you guys, your answer to address that anxiety that you've been having or experiencing, that internal struggle, Aries, you've now started to address it and putting distance between you and that by um, putting more energy into some type of creative outlet I'm seeing and I'm feeling. Um, because I'm not really getting the sense with this Hermit card that there's too much introspection going on in the sense of where uh kind of like shadow work i guess is what i'm trying to say i don't feel like there's too much necessarily shadow work it feels more so like you're no longer going to feed energy into certain narratives anymore putting distance between stuff that has been uh just being heavy like has started weighing heavy on you and so with this page of swords and this three of pentacles coming in here uh aries i definitely do want to say keep your um, communication lines as open as possible because there's definitely someone that has their eye on you that would like to do some type of collaborative uh, thing with you right I can't really give a time frame on time frame on it just because this is a general reading for thousands of Aries right but there's definitely with this page of swords someone's like it's almost like they're contemplating Aries on uh, reaching out to you um and with the three of pentacles doing some type of work for you uh or with you on some level and so that probably is what uh the sun card is coming in as maybe you're starting to realize or starting to notice that other people are just trying to reach out to you just wanting to connect with you more um doesn't even have to be on like a business collaborative sense it could just be in a sense uh areas where um people that you normally were always looked up to or people that you just always knew from a distance you know kind of like those people uh, if you're in like school or if in your workplace areas of where there's always this one really talented person or just the seemingly really cool person never spoke to them before though or never really had much opportunity to connect with them on a deeper level i see this kind of coming into play i would even dare so say that this is what the wheel card is kind of hinting at is where it's like you're starting to have uh new people coming into your life new people in the sense where it's like they've probably been in your uh space for a while aries but it's just now recently that you guys are starting to uh link up and work together or just enjoy each other's company and time together um aries so really beautiful cards here uh aries i'm really glad i got to do this uh reading for you so let's actually close this off with a um let's do a uh, moon oracle card 
Let's close your reading off with the Moon Oracle card, Aries, and then I'll let you go. But I'm really excited for you. I'm glad that you, Aries, have started to uh, really come out of this internal struggle that you guys have probably been struggling with for a while. I say probably just because of uh, what I know from the Aries weekly readings. <laughs> How many times can I say that? But yeah. Then your new moon. You start, and I know the new moon is actually coming Aries in a few days from when I when I'm posting this. So new moon in Aries, it's time to take action. And I definitely feel like you action is definitely what you are taking, Aries. So really there's this is a kind of a reading where it's like full speed ahead. Um, don't put the brakes on whatsoever. In fact, forget the brakes even exist at this point. It seems like now that you've started to overcome your internal struggle with something, Aries, you're finally uh, taking action and just kind of allowing yourself to create and allowing yourself to uh, do things again after being in your head for so long. So celebrate you that uh, celebrate you for that, Aries. And that's the cards that I have for you for this uh, reading, uh, bonus reading. Again, I have your weekly reading, which are much longer in the links above. Uh, if you want to check those out, Aries. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoy this reading, let me know how the reading resonated with you. Uh, which card in specific called out to you? Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well Aries and I'll connect with you sometime in the future. I love you so much Aries.